Hey, this is Dave with the Shepherd School, and today what we're going to do is we're going to make us a rocket stove using some simple stuff. Uh, got a number 10 can here. Got a couple of soup cans. These are 10 and a half ounce soup cans. We need four of them. And it's best to get the ones that don't have this molded in base. Get the ones that you can open up both sides. Makes it a whole lot easier. I couldn't find them, and so we're going to have to modify uh, and adapt a little bit. And then you're going to need some sort of insulator. I've got some perlite, but sand to work. Anything non combustible, you know, that makes a good insulator. All right? So, first thing we're going to do is we're going to cut the bottom out of three of these four cans. And like I said, if I had a um, the kind where I could just use my can opener, that would work. But um, as you can see on this one, it didn't work. It just kind of smushed a little bit. So what I'm going to do is take my hammer and a nail, and I'm just going to poke out these holes. All right? And then I'm just going to cut them around them with a pair of uh, diagonal cutters, all right? And we're just going to keep going around like that until we get in with the uh, cutters and cut them out. What did I end up? What I ended up doing was just uh, taking this over to the grinder and grinding the bottom off, which worked a lot quicker. But uh, if you don't have power tools, like I said, you can use that uh, technique I showed you with the hammer and the nail. Now all I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut one with the sit with the uh, metal shears. Okay. And we'll show you why in a second. Now what we have to do is in the one we left the, the uh, bottom on and on the tin can we have to cut a hole for the cans to go through okay and like I said you could take a marker draw a marker out and then you know dot it out with the nails right but what we're going to use is a hole saw just to make it uh, just to make it a little easier. All right, now that I've got the uh, hole through there, we want to make the uh, hole at the exact same size, same distance in the uh, in the soup can. Okay, and we want to have the bottom down, open side up, because we're going to take one of those open-ended cans and push through, right, to connect these two, right, and so. It needs to be about the same size. Okay, now what you do, see how that makes a, a chimney? All right, now we have to uh, mark and cut that inner. Uh, piece of tin can where it fits into the, uh, the uh, chimney. So we just uh, uh, inserted it as it would go and then I cut it out or I marked it with a uh, sharpie and then we're going to cut it I'm out. I'm going to try to get it as neat as possible but it doesn't have to be perfect. Right? Once we've got everything adjusted right we're going to start filling it up with perlite or whatever you're going to use as an insulator. Of course, it's not quite tall enough, so we have to uh, uh, increase the height of our chimney. And we use that slit tin can that we made earlier. And down at the bottom, we're going to cut out another archway to fit around the uh, tin can that connects the chimney to the number tin can, so it fits in nice and neat. And then because it's slit, we can overlap the cut edges and kind of smush it down a little bit so it will fit inside the can. Right? We want to make sure everything lines up and it fits pretty snug. So with your chimney uh, assembled and, and stuck down into it uh, and it filled up with perlite, the next thing we have to do is drill a hole in the top of our number 10 can and uh, insert it over the top of the chimney to make everything, you know, to compress that perlite down. 
All right, it's almost done. Put the elbow in there. Put the uh, cut up piece, right, as a, as a chimney. Filled it up with uh, the perlite and then put the, the lid on there and it's, it's pushed down pretty tight. Now what we have to do is make some, some air vents. And so I'm just gonna cut Okay, now I have a chimney, right? I've got a chimney, and it also holds that tab down there. So this is a, this is pretty well held down. All right. All right. The last thing to do is to cut a little fuel shelf out of the last tin can, a little T that fits in there, where you rest your fuel here, and air can flow through. Okay. So there it is.